Hi everyone, um, I've got a little project, this has been on the go for a while, um, I got that far and then gave up because I lost the mojo with it. Um, it's just a canvas, a small one split, it is for somebody, I'm actually doing it as a gift. So what I've got, a couple of owls, little foam owls who have no bottoms because I cut them off because they're going to lay like that. Uh, I've got some leaves that I've done. Um, they're the Tim Holtz leaves and I, do you remember I did a load of different colours and whatever, embossed them all. So I've got some of those to use, because it's the right colour for what I need. I've also got some red berries. Um, some of these, um, like a beigey biscuit colour berries. The pink background ignore, because that's going to be painted. And I've got uh, various coloured flowers that were gifted to me that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some brown paint, which I'll do the inside of the box uh, of the canvas first, and then the espresso. And I need to get some more of that if it's uh, we can get it anywhere because I'm running out. But for now, we'll just pop the birds to one side. I've taken a piece of the uh, foam board, and what I've done is I've cut it smaller than the frame, like that. Um, with the frame, I just cut it into eight and then peeled it all back, uh, glued it down. This is done like the brick wall um, texture uh, using some modelling paste. And then I just um, went over it with some ink. But that's going to be fine for what I need. So right now I'm just going to cover the board, which isn't hard. and. Uh, Try and get it done as quick as, as we can. Uh, my computer keeps going off. <laughs> what I might do is just run a little bit more. Like that. That'll do. So if I do it there and there. And then pin that over. Like that. Flatten the corners down. And I'm just going to glue these down. Like that. So I'm not that fussed about how to do it like that. That would be easier. Um, how the bat looks. It's not the bat that people are going to be seeing. Do you know, I came home from work today and fell asleep. I must be so tired. I'll be really busy. Now, this is a roll of fibre that I've uh, managed to pick up. So I will be putting some of this in the kits so that you lot can have a go at it because it's great. It's great for doing any project. Oops, a daisy. Let's flick that in. Like that, that's all you need. Nice and flat. Nice edge to that, actually. Um, just pop that over, like that. And pull that in nice and tight. There. And then what we're going to do, because that's given it a really good uh, texture, <laughs> is I'm just going to give it a quick lick of paint um, this is just brown acrylic paint that I watered down sort of <laughs> come on, come on, whenever you are It's a coming. Let me just try and get some more of this out. I'll do it and get some of that out.
Right, I'm going to take a little bit of water. And we're just going to play around with this right now. Of course, when the fibres get wet, some may come apart, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, it's giving me a nice background to what I want. And then to that... Oh, I forgot it doesn't spray. God. They should make bottles that they do spray properly all the time. Okie dokie. Now, we're just going to dab this on. Kind of like randomly just to give the background an added colour and that's fine that'll do, I'm not fussed let me soak my brush um, what you've got to be careful now is drying it because this board will lift the top cover of the foam can lift so we have to do this as best we can to get it done and the fibres, of course, they may, as, uh, they may um, shrink a little bit as well. What I like about it is you can actually see all the fibres in it, which is great. Some of the fibres have started to split, so you can actually see that as well in the background, which is great. It, it, you know, it's uh, giving it a really good texture and look. Hopefully, that's it, good enough. Yeah, it's started to lift slightly, so just press that back down. And that's, you know, got a nice background to that. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is to glue this on, basically. So, hopefully the glue gun's hot enough. Okay, take that and straight away pop that on. You know, I can colour up the back if I choose to, but uh, right now I'm not that fussed about it. I will do it before it's given out. Yeah, that's great. Perfect, perfect for what I want. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is just give the inside um, a coat of this and th this all over the outside as well. So I'm just going to get my brush back. And I just need to dab that in there. And just go over the wood. Hello my baby. How are you feeling? Okay, sweetie. I've got uh, Joey and Lucky with us today. 
They've heard me talking and they've come to find out who I'm talking to. Aren't you babies? And they're going, Mammy, there's nobody here. Do you want me to call you an ambulance? <laughs> so all I'm doing is just doing the wood now. I'll soak in there. Yeah. Like I say, I'm not after perfection or anything like that. And then I'm just going to brush on some of this all over the canvas itself. Ray's just come in. Isn't it marvellous? I start filming and he comes in. I'm filming. Yeah, this is giving it a perfect colour that I'm after. That's great. go around and finish all them ex uh, extra bits inside and that. I just want to get the majority of it done. I have very little of this left and it's <laughs> running out. Right, now what I'm going to do is just make sure I go around all the bits you can see and uh, paint them up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, I want it all to tie in and look right. Can you just shut this door for me, Ray, please? Okay, so I'm just going to go around the edges with this. I mean, I love this colour, Espresso. Um, I wish I'd bought more when I bought it, to be honest. I'm going to have to get another order in. Oops, a daisy. Never mind. We are going to get blathered in ink. Yeah, it's been a tough week this week. We've had um, 
sats, you know, the kids' sats going off. Last day tomorrow. And that's over with. And then we can start planning the uh, school play that we, you know, the leavers do for the year sixes. I'm painting the backdrop again this year. So, I think I'll just put a coat of that or whatever. Let that soak in. Just to darken that. I'm not fussed about this at all. The back of it. Um, and I think that will do. Just pop that to one side. Soak the brush and I'm just going to dry that off a little bit. So I'm not that fussed. Giving it like a rugged look, if that's what you want to you want to call it. What I'm going to do, I have a little bit of, um, this is the linen paint. Um, I just need the tiniest wee bit just to scrape over the brickwork. It's just to help the brickwork stand out a little bit. Just like that. Not doing any more than that to it. I don't think it needs it. Regarding paint, I mean. No, I like that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the owls in first and then I can build around the owls. So I'm just going to pop them in like that. The home of the owls. Ignore that bit of glue there. That's going to go away. I decided to put two owls in. My little picture. I'll move you up a bit. that let's take out some of these bits um i do like playing around with this sort of thing you know so and just pop that in while that's kind of wet And you can have them anywhere. Put, you know, put them anywhere you want. And just dropping, dropping, whopping. I said, dropping a little bit of glue here and there, and just popping these bits in. Okay, let's have a look. 
Okay. <coughs> Oops, hit the uh, owls thing a bit. Get another one like that. Just so we get a little bit of that, um, and then I'm going to put some of these leaves in. Now, what I like about these leaves is I can cut them to size and to shape, and I've still got the pattern to them, like that. Um, when I can find my knife, I'm also just going to rough them up a little bit. I don't want them straight and perfect. And then what I'm going to do is also fold them so it gives them that look. I'm not even colouring the edges, I want that rough colour, uh, that rough look. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Just and what I can do is just touch that there, pop that in there. And I just want one more little leaf here.
Oh, strands. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to fit another leaf in down there, if at all possible, like that. Not another one actually. Let's just have a look at this. Oh, strands. <laughs> um, and then what I might do is just take some of these and cut them into smaller leaves. Rough up the edges. Place the odd one here. Oh. Shall we get two? Yeah, I think we'll get two out of that. I only want them small, you see. Um, another one. Like that. And then what I've got is just to put a little bit of colour in it some red berries. I like to put a little bit of colour in and I'm just going to do a couple of these. And just bend that and stick that there where I've just put those two small leaves. 